What's up you guys, Shardamus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends figure review on the Marvel Legends Infinite Series Avengers Age of Ultron movie, Thanos build a figure wave, Captain America. If you're trying to get this wave, you can pre-order it at Big Bad Toy Store. Big, 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 get your big badass toys at BigBadToyStore.com. Click the link in the description below. You can see on the packaging it says Avengers Age of Ultron over there at the top, you get the Avengers logo, you can see he comes with the right leg to Thanos, which we'll look at later on. Here's Captain America, really cool image by the way, reminds me of that poster I got at SCCC when we saw First Avenger, really cool look. Anyway, on the back you can see the figure, you got this read up, it says Captain America, Steve Rogers is a soldier with superhuman strength and an indestructible shield. And you can see Thanos and the other figures from the wave right over there. And there's the other picture cap. All right, let's get to it and crack this thing open. And here's the Captain America figure out of the packaging and what a cool piece, man. At first I thought this was just a direct repaint, but it's not. There are some new sculpted parts on this figure, which I'm very pleased about. Now putting aside the fact that there's a lot of reused parts from the Winter Soldier Captain America, stealth figure. This guy is really, really cool, and I'm really happy to see this figure redone like this with the red, white, and blue. Now, we do get the same accessories as before as well. We get two fisted hands, we get a saluting hand, and then on the left hand, we get a pointing finger hand. So that for Age of Ultron, Cap does not have the flesh sticking out on the back of the hand over there that's covered by a gray piece. That's a little inaccurate, but not a huge deal. And as opposed to the rest of the hands, this pointing finger does not have the up and down hinge. It has a side-to-side -side hinge like rolling dice. And we have the same shield as we had gotten before. It has just been repainted, which I do really like, except for a little bit of red right there, it's a little bothersome for me. And one thing, I think they had widened this strap, this lower strap right here, so you could put the fist through a little bit easier. But we do get the same two head sculpts that we had gotten from the Captain America Stealth Strike figure from the Winter Soldier movie line. And I feel like the paint on this figure is actually kind of splotchy throughout. You can see some flesh tone right there on the mask. Uh, we do get a lighter color blue that's more suiting for this Captain America outfit, which I do like. I think it looks pretty good. You can see the color differences between the two of them. You can see the flesh tone is a little darker on Stealth Strike, and they did paint the silver a little differently on the helmet piece as opposed to this one. So this is definitely following the wing look a little bit more. Now here's a look at the Steve Rogers head sculpt. Overall it looks alright. I think the hair color looks pretty good for the most part. You do get gray right there in the creases and stuff. So I think that's kind of an interesting color to you know texture blonde hair with. Uh, we'd get this extra yellow splotch right there. I think because these figures are so early that uh, I think that some of the paint defects and everything are because of that. I'm not 100% sure. Now for newly sculpted parts, we get this new torso for Captain America, which I think it looks pretty good. I like it. Here it is compared to the Winter Soldier version, so you can see they are completely different. I really dig this a lot. I think the red paint came out pretty clean over here. We are missing a little bit of silver right there. For the arms over here on this white section, the paint gets really splotchy. That's a bit annoying. Same thing with the red right there at the bottom. You can see the blue coming through over over there. The belt is upside down, which is kind of funny, but it's actually painted pretty well though. It has all these little silver pieces painted going around it. I think the way they have the red over here, it's not bleeding crazy amounts or anything. Now there is supposed to be red on his back. Some of these parts are supposed to have red filled in there and they did not do that. Kind of wish they did. We get this new added deco with the Avengers logo, which I'm not too crazy about. I know Hulk has the same Avengers logo on his hips too. And Iron Man doesn't, huh? So how come these guys have to wear the A and the other guys don't? And looking at the lower half of the figure, this barely resembles how he looks in the Age of Ultron. The boots aren't really painted at all. At least we got some color variation right there on the stealth version, but nope, not on this one. So yeah, a little bit lacking. It does still have the peg holes at the bottom of his feet. Even with some new parts, the figure maintains the same articulation. Now one thing I need to mention is switching these heads out was very, very stiff. It was hard getting that on there. Anyway, the shoulders move outward, forward, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, wrist move side to side, hinge up and down. Now he still has an ab crunch over here. It does not bend forward as much as it does on the stealth Captain America figure. So you can see that it looks kind of funny. It's like sniffing cat butt. I don't know. But anyway, he does move back quite a bit as well. He does have a waist swivel. He does have hips that move outward only that much. They kick forward, uh, kick back a little bit, upper thigh swivel, double jointed knees, calf rotation, ankles move down, up, and beautiful ankle pivot. Now this figure stands at about six and a half inches tall. And here he is standing next to the Stealth Strike Captain America figure, and it looks like that torso section is elongating the figure just by a little bit. And here's all four versions of MCU Captain America from Hasbro. We have first Avenger Captain America, Avengers Movie Cap, Winter Soldier 
cap and then our Age of Ultron over there. And I am aware I switched the shields on these two. And here he is next to my Figma Captain America Avengers movie figure. And here he is next to the only other figure from the wave that I've actually reviewed, the Mark 43 Iron Man. And I feel like the height difference right here is pretty good. And here he is next to the Marvel Legends Big Time Let Down Spider-Man. even with all those issues with the paint blemishes, I really like this figure a lot. This is my favorite movie Captain America figure. I really dig this and hopefully when it comes out at retail it won't have those issues with all the paint. But anyway, I hope you guys liked my video. If you did, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button right over there. Check out my review of the Mark 43 Iron Man and check out my review of the Build-A-Figure Hobgoblin right down there. And do not forget to check out MarvelousNews.com for a photo gallery of images and the latest in Marvel related news. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. That's crispy. That anyway, and then we get the... Ah, oh, damn it.